Ah. Ah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me look at you. You've lost weight. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> you give all the way from America for my birthday. Of course I have. Of course I have. So, oh, how are you? Come on, hey, this is your idea. No, nothing to do with me, Mrs. Hey, oh, look at you. Beautiful as ever. Oh, look at these right, girls. Oh, look at these girls. What beautiful girls. Come here, you. <laughs> oh, oh, come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. oh, this is the best oh, birthday yeah. present I've ever had. Oh, don't start, Mum. Don't. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm right. No. Start. Go! Dad, they're not here. Well, have a look round the back, will you? Look, we knew there was no one here when we rang him up. Where the hell is he? He's saying anything to you. He's probably got Sophie's sisters. Oh, yeah. Hello. Uh, good morning. Yeah, I'd like to speak to Andrew De Silva, please. Yeah, it's Ted Cutler. Yeah, I phoned earlier. Yeah, all right, thanks. Well, what's her name? Janet. Well, you got a number? Well, I haven't got a number, have I? Yeah, Andy. Yeah, good morning. Listen, they've given Dave a tug. Yeah, yeah, he's down at Tibbles Road, Nick. No, 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 it's this restaurant business. There was this bloke that got himself killed there a few months back. Yeah, well, they've given us a little bit of bother about it, you know what I mean? I want you to get yourself down there, sort it out. No, I don't know where he is. I'm standing here right now, in front of his house. Yeah, thanks. All right, yeah, thanks, Andy. What a bloody mess. He's off somewhere and your bloody brother's in the nick. I haven't got it either. Hey? Janet, I haven't got a number. What well, is this what passes for communication between my bloody kids, is it? What is it? Well, you talk to each other from time to time, is that it? So it's my fault, is it? Oh, well, no, just blame me. Well, why not? Everything else comes down to me. Why not this one? Look, I hadn't seen her for about three years until the anniversary. Well, what's her surname? Lawson. Look, I had a row with Joe. Well, you've got to bloody stop arguing, haven't you? Jesus Christ. I thought when my kids grew up, they'd get on with each other. But, oh, no, of course not. I mean, we're the bloody cutlers, aren't we? One silly squabble after another. Well, you've got to give it a rest. If it's not you, it's someone else. Dave, usually. You two, you're the worst bloody culprits. Now, Joey, he's... Well, Joe, he's usually... Well... Joe's different. Dad, are you all right? Look, I don't know how much time I've got left. I've got to talk to him. What are you talking about? I've got to talk to Joe. Come in. Do you know if I'm bringing this? Loads of wine in the cupboard. Dad, right? I think you ought to know he's really upset about it. He's got prostate cancer. I wouldn't be any surprise to find he'd get that to himself. But there we are. Yeah. Well, I did know he was on the cards. He's got to have an operation. Well, he's got to decide if whether to have one or not. He hasn't got much choice, really. Next time you talk to him, I'd bear that in mind. All right? You're not drinking? No. I've got a long day tomorrow. about your father, by the way. Not about eight years. Mum told me everything. Dad chucked her for Natalie. Why didn't you say anything? I didn't think to say anything to anyone. I want to ever. God, the love of Mum's life, that was your father. He was the one man who really wanted to look after her. And they got rid of him. Just like that. What must that have been like for her? Hey, Joe? What 
What's that been like? <sighs> you know, I've always had you down as a cutler. After all, cutlers are all heartless, cynical, self-serving, murderous bastards. And yeah, you're one of us. Through and through. Oh, Joey, hello. Uh, come 